Chapter Twenty Two, Trip to Humpy. The chairman of the municipal council of Ballari, a neighboring district headquarters town, and his wife had a dream. A man in the dream told them, "You should go and get Satya here." He had revealed. The boy's location to them. They left immediately and found him in the crowded market. They were silenced by his divine effulgence, and prostrated before him in front of everyone. The chairman went straight to Seshamaraju with a proposal. He said to him, "Your brother." Is not an ordinary school-going lad. There is some inexplicable, divine effulgence in him. I want to take him with us for a few days. You also come along with him and stay with us for a few days. Seshama Raju went to seek permission from Satya's headmaster. The headmaster loved Satya. He said, "You can take him wherever you want. There is no need to take permission." So saying, he gave his own vehicle for them to travel comfortably. They reached the historic town of Hampi, where the famous Virupaksha temple stood gracefully. They were traveling in group of fifty people or so. Satya realized he would have to deal with the situation tactfully in order to escape from entering the temple. He said, "I'm afraid、I、can't go in. My stomach is upset." The chairman was crestfallen. He requested Satya to come along. Raju. Please come with us. Don't stay behind. Satya could not be convinced. Seshama Raju ordered Satya to stay under the tree with the luggage until their return. In the sanctum sanctorum of the temple, the arati for the temple deity Lord Virupaksha began, but all the chairman. His wife, Seshama Raju, could see was Satya instead. Seshama Raju could not believe his eyes. He thought, "What a great sacrilege this is!" Satya said he will wait outside, and he stealthily came in and stood here. Seshama Raju. Left immediately to check whether Raju was sitting where he had asked him to sit, or he was imagining. To his surprise, he found Satya where he had left him. He was a doubting Thomas, so he asked his wife to go and check as well. His wife too saw Satya. Under the tree, while Seshama Raju could see him in the place of the temple deity, she returned and confirmed the truth to him. The chairman, on their return, said to Seshama Raju, "You make a great mistake in believing he is your brother. He is not an ordinary being. He has a great divine power in him." Seshama Raju. Was very happy 
But he did not confess that in front of Satya. Satya had demonstrated his omnipresence. After a while, he tried to explain away the incident by saying to himself that it could have appeared this way due to the anxiousness that was there in their minds for Satya.